If your business uses freebies or lead magnets or whatever you want to call them, then you have made it to the right video. I'm going to share with you my favorite strategy for freebies and lead magnets that not only makes those things more SEO friendly and like findable on Google, but has so many other benefits as well. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some tips and like a strategy that I share with basically all of my clients that have freebies and that have lead magnets. And this is a strategy that I use on my own website that's been really helpful too. So let's just kick it into the screen share. Okay, so I know in a lot of YouTube videos that kind of like prolong the intro and they make you wait on like, what's a strategy? What's a strategy? I'm just gonna tell you straight up right now. It's seven words. Put your freebie on its own page. Here's an example of how that looks on my website. So this is one of my freebies, one of my lead magnets, whatever. So it's the SEO roadmap. And essentially, I've given the SEO roadmap its own landing page, if you will. So information about it. And like this page can look any way that it wants to. Like you can get creative with it. You can get super strategic with it. But where the juice is really is the reason why we want to give each of our freebies, our lead magnets, like their own page is because when they have their own page, they have their own URL. And when they have their own URL, URL, we're able to target very specific like SEO keywords for this specific page now. So now your freebie, your landing page can show up in Google search results because it's its own page. And when you give your freebie its own page, it's also really helpful for Pinterest because now you have a new URL that you can create three to five pins for or numerous pins for that all kind of point back to your specific specific freebie page. So I'm not going to get into Pinterest marketing, but just know that having a separate page for each of your freebies or for your one freebie or whatever can help your Pinterest marketing efforts too. And then another bonus of using this strategy is for website maintenance. Okay, so let's take a look at my homepage here. And basically, I still have my freebie, like a freebie call out section on my homepage right here, but I don't have a form embedded on the homepage. Instead, I have a button that leads the user over to the freebie landing page. And this is wildly helpful because I know a lot of people that like instead of having their freebie have its own page, they have like forms embedded all over their website. But what happens if you have to update the form or the form's not working or there's like a technology issue or something like that where it's like you're having to scour through your website and try to remember all of the different pages and places that you have your form on your website if you want to update something. But with this strategy, the only form that is associated with this specific specific freebie is on this specific freebie page. And if you weren't already convinced by those benefits of putting your freebie on its own page, I also like the strategy because it's way easier to share the link. So it's like if I'm hanging out on like Instagram stories and I'm trying to like draw people to maybe this specific freebie, maybe another freebie of mine or something like that, I can share this specific URL in my Instagram stories. It's even easier like if I'm doing a YouTube video like this and I'm like, yo, go download the free roadmap to successful SEO. You can find that at mariahmagazine.com slash SEO dash roadmap. So it's really helpful to be able to kind of have have its own page that this freebie lives on because otherwise, what would happen if I'm like, oh yeah, sign up for the freebie, but how you get there is you got to go to my homepage. You got to scroll three fourths of the way down and then there's going to be a form and then fill out that form. So that's another reason why I like this. And I know that some people, they prefer like instead of embedding the form on places because the form can mess up like a page design and stuff like that. So I do know some people that like when you click on the button, a pop up for the form happens. I prefer embedding the form on a page like this because some people have browser settings turned on where like pop-ups just don't work sometimes, either because of the user and the browser or sometimes the pop-up just doesn't wanna work. So if you couldn't tell by this video already, I prefer 
to give specific landing pages for all of the freebies and embed the form directly onto that page itself. And so I mentioned that I typically recommend this strategy to a lot of my clients, especially when we're doing like SEO keyword research and we can find like a specific keyword that we can tie to their freebie or their lead magnet landing page. And so I had a client and she had this free masterclass. And so what we ended up doing is creating like a landing page for that specific masterclass. And we ended up targeting a very specific keyword where it's like the topic that she was covering plus masterclass. Okay. So we ended up targeting that longer tail keyword for this specific freebie landing page that she had. And what ended up happening was because we optimized that page for the very specific keyword that we were a really good solution for, she ended up getting her freebie landing page on page one in position one. And so what they ended up doing is multiplying the amount of eyeballs that she got on this freebie that she had. And so people would find her freebie or find her master class from Google end up signing up to watch that masterclass. And then they realize that they like her style. They like her personality. They like her teaching style or they, they, they vibe with her. Right. And then, so some of those people ended up becoming paid one-on-one -on -one clients simply from finding her free masterclass because she created a specific landing page for it and targeted the right SEO keyword for it. So I did want to show you just one more example so that you you can kind of see if this strategy will work for you. So this is a client that I've worked kind of on and off with in terms of consulting. And so this is his homepage. And at the bottom, he has the form embedded. So as you can see, we don't have a specific landing page for his freebie here. And so it's a personal branding PDF. Okay, great. So what I would do is get really clear on what is the freebie exactly. And then I would start doing some SEO keyword research on it. So I already did did this and I'm just going to open up the other tab. So this YouTube video is in 45 hours long, but basically I'm using SEMrush. I'm using their keyword magic tool. If you want a free 14 day trial, click the link in the video description box below. This is a tool that I love. So basically a personal branding PDF. I got that literally from his website. And so you can see here, this is the specific keyword. This is the monthly search volume. So 50 people are specifically searching for exactly what this freebie is. So this is the monthly search volume and this is the keyword difficulty. So this is how difficult it's going to be to rank on page one. This is easy. Okay. So this would be like one of the very first things that I had this client do. And so I would try to target the keyword personal branding PD because we also have to consider the user intent. We can't just target random keywords because we want to. We have to consider like what kind of content is the user looking for when they search for that keyword. And so the user intent seems to align and all of that stuff and the keyword volume isn't bad, especially just for creating one landing page for a freebie that you already have. Like you already have this freebie, just create the page for it. So Basically, we would create the landing page for this freebie and we would target this specific keyword. And then we might even be able to come up and do some extra keyword research to see if there's more keywords that we might be able to target and get a little strategic with our on-page optimization and like what kind of content we put on that page and everything like that. But I just wanted to give yet another example. So maybe you can see how you can start to use this strategy on your own website. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that this video is helpful and therefore pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any questions about this strategy or if you want to see more videos talking about freebies and lead magnets or any of those types of things, then definitely leave me a comment below this video. I use your comments and your questions and your suggestions to help inspire new videos for for this channel. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video and you're just getting started with DIY SEO, but you want some help navigating the process, then definitely consider downloading my free roadmap to successful SEO. The free SEO guide dives into what SEO is, why it's important, and how search engines work, along with my six-step process to improve improving your SEO and your rankings. And then finally, I dive into the three
tasks that you can start doing today to get the results that you want from Google. If you want to go ahead and snag this for yourself, then you can click the link in the video description box below, or you can head over to my website at mariahmagazine.com roadmap to download your own copy. Thank you.